All right, this is how you use the uh, WMO Converter script. All right, you can do it one of two ways. You can either do it manually, which I would not recommend, but it's up to you, whatever way you want to do it. So first thing is open up the script. All right, first off, uh, if you want to convert WMOs down to uh, Burning Crusade, it may and possibly vanilla, I don't know. It, I don't know if they use the same format, but I've heard that they might. So if you do want to go that route, just make this a one, and it'll put in switches to uh, to uh, basically convert them to work with uh, Burning Crusade. All right, so I'm I'm I'm, I'm going to leave it zero because most of you guys that are getting this are probably going to do it for wrath anyway. So what you would do is have this open first, and then just go and get your uh, your WMO files that you want to uh, convert. So like something small, like these three files here. All you do is just make sure this is open first and make sure you select the file. The reason I say select the file is because sometimes if you don't do this, the script is selected. If you run the script on the script, you might fuck up the script. So that's why. All right, so make sure it's selected and then just go to script and run script or push F7. It'll ask you to select what script and it's the first one that's open, hit run, all right? Same thing with this one, script, run script, run this one, run script, run. All right, that's that's basically the general idea. All right, and then and and then um then those particular uh, WMOs will now work with uh in uh, Wrath Wrath Lich King. All right, um yeah. So just take my word for it. All right, because I know. Uh, I know these work because this is part of the uh, Tanan ju uh, uh, jungle uh, map instance from 6.2 that I just converted and I use this this script to convert all those WMOs which I'll probably release later and uh, yeah all right now that's not the best way to do it the best way to do it is to actually run it in a batch file so you can just uh, it's basically one click and it'll just convert a whole bunch for you other than you having to do it manually and to do that uh, let me restore these files so let me go back and get my backup so I can restore these files back to unconverted form all right and I'll just and I'll prove it that these are not converted so I'll, uh, I'll go into my uh, my breath client and uh, don't do this anymore. Then go away. So let me put these WMOs into here, and you'll see that uh, let's see. Overwrite all those. So so let me take them both. Uh, just just let me take them out in uh, in the first inst uh, instance. So if I try to load up a, a map that uses those WMOs, it's going to give me an error saying that it couldn't find those WMOs and such and such. All right, and. Uh, yeah, so once it here, it's gonna give me an error. It's gonna say couldn't find blah. So, and then so let me unname that folder, go back in, and log back in, and then you'll see that I will be met with an error because they are not converted properly. Okay, so there you go, an error because they're not converted properly. So, what you would do is uh, you can close out O and L. It's not important now. Um, but I put that right here. So download the file, extract it somewhere. So wherever you extract it at, and then um, just make sure you know where you put it at, and uh, just get the uh, script from the uh, batch script from um, it's gonna be in a paste bin on the thread somewhere. Just get that or description or something, and uh, just copy this. All right, just select it all, copy it, open up a normal notepad or use notepad plus plus, whichever one you feel comfortable with using, and just paste this in. All right, and then change this full path to script to so the full path of the actual where you put put the uh, script. All right, so I put in uh, in the drive C, so I'm 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 gonna click up here, grab the uh, the uh, path, and I'm gonna paste this in, add a backslash, and put the file name because the file name is of course within this path, and that's what it's looking for. All right, after this, just control S and save it somewhere. So I'll save it where I put my stuff. So inside of here, copy this, and then I'll go into there, and, it's, and then call it a WMO Converter Tutorial.bat. Make sure you put .bat, hit save. 
all right and then minimize this and now we have this here right make sure o one o is closed for this to work also for this to work you must be able to uh, open up o one o editor through the console all right by what I mean by that is click somewhere to basically if you have anything selected click some click an empty spot to deselect it hold shift right click and uh, go to command window here all right you can type in o one o editor all right, doing that should load up the application. If it doesn't load up the application, you have to figure that out. All right, if it doesn't load it up, you can do it one of two ways. You can either figure out why that's not working or find the full path of your O1O editor. All right, and, and, and do the same same thing for this. So I had this in uh, C program files, O1O editor 6, and then, uh, and, and, and then the executables right there. So within my script, I would change this, put two quotation marks, all right, paste this in, put a backslash, and then and, and then copy the name, uh, the full name of the uh, of the uh, program. All right, if you if if you don't have .exe showing, uh, put it in. You're gonna need it. All right, and uh, that's pretty much that. So I can save this just the way it is, and uh, it'll work that way too. So from here, so make sure if I click an edit and open this up in, in normal notepad, make sure to update it and refresh so I have that there, and that's it. So I just run this, let that go through. It takes a little while, but as you can see, it's going through the files fairly quickly. It's probably about two, three, maybe uh, maybe four files per second, so or, or maybe more. I don't know. I can't really think, but uh, should be between three to five files per second, and this one had a bunch of files so it's gonna take a uh, little while 571 files so it's gonna take a little bit of time so I'm gonna I'm not gonna fast forward I'm just gonna keep talking until this is done all right so it's done Not so much for not fast forwarding I'm, yeah I'm gonna fast forward that so uh, so now these are converted if I put them into my patch folder all right, you'll see that I'll be able to go into the game now, and it won't throw me an error because they are converted properly now. This this is just WMOs, okay, not M2s or bullshit like that. So, um, this character, and there you go. All right, so all these WMOs they're all converted properly now and such, so they don't throw an error back at me, and so on and so forth. So anybody that doesn't know, I already mentioned it already, but this is the Tanan jungle map from a 6.2 PTR. And yeah, it's still naturally being worked on because there are a couple temporary objects here still. Uh, like over here, there's this big, big pink boxes. Blue boxes are when you don't have an M2. Pink boxes are, are placeholders. All right. Uh, yeah. All right. So that's pretty much that. See you guys later. Bye-bye.